Uh, this is the voice of high servant Mother Doris, founder of I Am Sent Me, builder of the storehouse. And this is a special, special video uh, that we're going to take a few minutes on today and just bless uh, by way of uh, the Spirit uh, to release this to those that uh, have sickness in their body especially this all right of course we have another name for it it's called covenant but uh, we've had this board for a very long time uh, let's see if we can get it when we first the board was purchased on look at this December the 15th of 2008 I want you to remember this right here that we had to write on this board what the cure was and that was prayer okay and we wrote that on October the 25th of 2008 now we see why we had to go get that board uh, but then look at what was said on October the 9th of 2009 and this is what was said. You read it. I want you to read it. His servant already know it, but we want you to read it, especially those that have a yoke about your neck. You call it this. This is what you call it. And it has killed so many, especially the believer that is a receiver or should be a receiver because you've called it what it wants to be called then this is why the spirit has not been able to destroy it because this is what it truly is. But you read it because this is what the spirit would have you to hear, especially those that are preaching the gospel who have had it, all right, and had it around their neck. It's not this. This is what it is. And as soon as you can see it like that, guess what? You read it, right? So this is on the actual prayer board, right here. This is the prayer board right here. People that we've put on this board, look at this, see this? I'm just going to let you read it. We put the names on there. They're still alive. His servant is still alive uh, since the age of 18 until 40 years later, and I'm still here, right? How long can you live? All right, but when you see it as a yoke, I'll destroy it. So, so that's that original board. It came from, this was the very first 365 days we did it. We put it there and it was praying in the spirit. You see it for yourself right there, right? You see it right, right there. And uh, that was the date. That was the date right there, all right? And uh, just want you to see that. Right there, 365 days. That's when it all began, uh, the praying in the spirit. So you can see it's been some time, over 10 years ago. <laughs> okay? So, so this is where we bring you in on today, is right here. Uh, we come in. Let me see if we want to start. We want to start here. So we just write it. Those that read, you know, we're blessed because we read. If you could get through that. When his servant is writing in the spirit, it'll bless you. And so we had a, we had an encounter today that was just like an encounter we had way back in Virginia Beach. And we're talking over 20 some years ago, uh, around the year uh, in the 1997, that type of year. But of course, it was earlier than that. So it's been well over 20 some years. Uh, we'll be looking for the cassettes or looking for the actual CDs that have us talking about that moment when the uh, a sound, we heard a sound that hit the floor. Well, we had another experience like that today, but uh, the first experience, we didn't, we didn't see anything. So we kept questioning, Lord, what is it? What was that? You know, it was like a cone that slithered out of his servant head. That's the best way we could describe it. And then when we went in there and looked around and looked around and looked around and saw nothing around where his servant was at that moment, uh, praying, we saw nothing around that 
that area. And then all of a sudden, the spirit spoke to his servant. I stopped by to take the chains off of that mind. You know, off of your mind. So we bring it to where you can understand it. Because some of you wouldn't understand thou. So your mind. All right. And so that being said, we had a, a, a same exact, oh my goodness, encounter today. And all of a sudden, his servant spirit was whisked away. And that's the only word we can use, was whisk away uh, back to Virginia Beach some umpty ump years ago. And uh, had that, that encounter that was life changing. And here comes another one right today. And the Spirit let us know that the yoke had been destroyed because of the anointing. We put a Merry Christmas to those today who is about to be uh, healed right now in your body from what you call this, that has it, every leader that I'm speaking to that has this and have had it about your neck, your throat. As soon as you see this and you believe, you won't have no more chemo. You won't have a sheet out of you won't have any more symptoms because we feel the infirmities of others. That's the reason why we carry it so we can deliver it, set it free, make it whole by the power of God. And as a witness and as a living sacrifice of God's healing power, seeing that God is the healer. We hope that on this day, this December the 25th, and all we could do when, at the end was do this. That on this December 25th, 2020, this Christmas Day, may this be the best gift that you received ever. God bless you. We misspelt that word. May we put this in for a few more minutes. We we misspelt that word for years and had it where it spelt was spelt just like a regular egg yolk until we could literally see it through the eyes of the spirit concerning a yolk.